Extreme Outer Limits is presented by Night Force Optics. Precision optics for precision shooting. Well, was finally lucky enough to connect with the caribou. Got to come back to camp and freshen up, change some clothes, do some laundry, and uh, have a couple good, nice meals with an uh, actual chair back to sit in. <laughs> that feels which was nice, nice, isn't it? Yeah. Not so, to mention the cots with the mattress oh, <laughs> instead of the ground. I'm not going to lie. I think I slept from what, nine o'clock or 10 o'clock last night to eight in this morning, had breakfast, went right back to bed, didn't get up till noon. It was, <laughs> it was glorious. Anyway, we've got two days left on our trip here. So we are, um, we're gonna head back out for moose. It's not very long, but it only takes one. So right. maybe one of us gets lucky enough to connect. Right. Uh, we're gonna head on down to the airstrip, get loaded up in a plane, get dropped where there's some moose and cross our fingers for the next two days. We have arrived. It is bright in this snow. Sunglass deal for sure. Uh, looks like they got the cook tent set, so I guess we'll get our tent set and then uh, start glassing for moose. This segment is brought to you by the Night Force 5 to 25 by 56 Enhanced ATAC R Rifle Scope. Features a lightning fast 30 minute per revolution zero stop turret, a 34 millimeter tube allowing for 120 minutes of adjustment, and ED glass producing brilliant images and exceptional color contrast.
The new Zeiss Victory RF laser range-finding binocular provides you accurate ranges and ballistic corrections from 11 to 2,500 yards. A fully customizable ballistics platform, Bluetooth connectivity, and a phenomenal binocular all in a compact and lightweight unit. The new Zeiss Victory RF is EOL's range-finder of choice. Me and Ben just ran ahead here. Um, Chris and uh, and Bob are just coming up the hill behind us. It's pretty tough walking, but we thought we'd just come over, check out this one basin, and uh, lo and behold, here is a giant bull moose right there, out in the open, just stripping his velvet right now. And uh, yeah, I think the only thing left to do is to hopefully get a bullet in him. You want to look at him? Yeah, I'd like to see him. Chris, come take a look. If we can get closer, we can just go straight at him. From here. Oh my god. Wow. It's a big bull. It's the biggest bull I've ever seen, but I haven't seen a lot. Camp's right there. Five minutes. In the cub, bring an empty backpack. That bull is huge. We decided to eat some breakfast and head up to another high plateau, which has turned up a giant bull. Problem is, this stuff is crazy hard to walk in, and he's probably about a mile, because I can't even get a range at all. I couldn't either. So, we have a long hike. We're exposed, which sucks. Hopefully he just won't look or pay attention or think anything of us. We've got to close this thing down at least a thousand yards or something in order to get in there. And then we'll just kind of see what the shot scenario looks like and then decide which one of us is going to shoot. So stay with us. We'll see what happens. Oh. Oh. 
This segment of Extreme Outer Limits was brought to you by the Extreme Shooting School, hosted by Bob Beck, an information-packed two-day class. For more information, go to ExtremeOuterLimitsTV.com. This segment is brought to you by the Extreme Store. For all your brass, bullet, and ammunition needs, head to ExtremeStore.us. Introducing the Rugged Ridge Extreme Pod with push button side deployment legs, 360 degrees of rotation, and an indexing lever lock handle. The Rugged Ridge Extreme Pod is the most efficient and versatile long range shooting platform ever created. Visit RuggedRidgeOutdoorGear.com for more information. Stay calm, Chris. Stay calm. Not yet. See that crease where his chest goes back? That crease is your aim. No, 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 no. See where his shoulder goes back to his stomach? That crease. Yep. Yep. Breathe it out nice and easy. Drilled him. Perfect shot. Get him again. Hit him, Hit him again. again right behind the shoulder. You were left last time. Hit him again right over okay. behind the shoulder. Nice shot. Again, nice shot. Beautiful. Both nice both shot. Right behind Hit the, the shoulder, one. Chris. Oh, that anchored him. Ended him. He's down. He's down. Oh, he's down. Never mind. <laughs> oh my gosh, Chris. Holy smokes. <laughs> <laughs> Open the bolt, bud. Congratulations. <laughs> oh my gosh. Chris, you just... That's what I came out here to do. That is a trophy of a lifetime right wow, there. Wow, buddy. Wow. What did you think when he stood up and turned right at you? I was just like, oh my gosh. Do you hold it together or what? <laughs> oh, he's so... Incredibly large. He is. He is that. He He's is exactly giant. that. Giant moose. Good job. All right on you guys. <laughs> Man. Right on. Thank you, thank you. Ah. you betcha. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> You're welcome. Oh God, Ooh. we worked for that one. <laughs> that was a mile stock right there. Because yeah, and it's it's all of a mile and maybe two. I'm gonna say two. Oh, it's easy. Two miles back. Two miles stuff. back to the airstrip. That well, is it's one o'clock. <laughs> massive bonus. <laughs> he was worth it. I'm, I'm so happy, but I'm so nervous at the same token because I know how hard it was to get over here. <laughs> so I'm just like, wow, what are we gonna do? We're gonna figure We're it out. Figure it out. <laughs> That's it. One step in front of the other, right? And oh. I've, I've been told this whole time. We All thought right. sheep hunting was hard. We thought caribou hunting was hard. We're in. This one is gonna be a kill. This, yeah, this one's gonna be yeah, 18, well, 1700 pounds, 1800 pounds of pure awesomeness. <laughs> pure backbreaking coming, awesomeness. Coming back to camp, but <laughs> oh. that is a heck of a bull. That bull is so big that I just stayed I completely you. like silent because I didn't want to get you in your head. Or... Wow, all right, guys, stay with us. We're going to get to him. This segment of Extreme Outer Limits is brought to you by Benchmark Barrels, the rifle barrel of choice for long-range hunters, competition shooters, and sport shooters worldwide. Ask for one on your next re-barrel or custom rifle build. This segment of Extreme Outer Limits is brought to you by Kestrel Ballistics Weather Meters, the perfect match of long-range ballistics and environment. Get precision aiming solutions for your gun, your load, and your shot. It just came right together. Right here's where he was laying. Oh. oh my gosh. Okay, go around this tree this way. Be my suggestion and hook around. Oh my gosh. Oh. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> 
absolute giant. <laughs> How's it rank in the ones you've guided? He's the biggest buck or biggest bull I've ever guided. Yes. <laughs> yes. Zero, Who would have known that? Zero doubts in my mind. Yeah, he's mm. he's a buck bull. We're gonna have to build a new house. Yeah. This is the biggest friggin' animal I've ever put my hands on. This is uh, downright amazing. I don't even know what to say. I've never in my life touched an animal as that big. I mean, the whole thing, right? Just the. When you say the score, you know, it's like, oh, he's 230. It sounds like a big mule deer number, but it's the scoring system, right? This would be equivalent to a 300 inch mule deer <laughs> as far as the trophy quality. Yeah, Something ridiculous like that. He's got one, two, three, four, like five, five, six on his fronts. What's he got over there? Uh, four, he's four huge. Tons of points. His pan width is absolutely astonishing. Both sides, he's got that wave, like, that's incredible. Pan length, he's up. No, remember when I said up to their hump? Mm -hmm. Where's this guy? Up to his up hump. To his hump. Yeah. And his whip, that's incredible. It's near six his feet. The furthest one is out there. I'm six foot three. <clears throat> so he's about 68 inches probably wide. Yep. I would say high 60s. And he is a, a brute. He's huge. Yeah. He's Look at his bases. They're more than a than a mature bull. Than a tree branch. Man, you know when I think of moose, I think of these pans, and you know when you get back to those back points, they're just kind of little saw blade teeth. I'm used to thinking of that, right? Well, at the front of this bull, he has elk-like points, right? I mean that kind of length, Little right? Tines, he, yeah. He has G5 and yeah. that kind of length. And uh, so it just amazes me because I'm an elk freak, right? So something so this big, just are we to that. talking because age? I mean, we're, are we a 10 year old bull or do he's, they live 10? Oh yeah. Oh yeah? You betcha. He's, I would say that. We'll have to see what his teeth eight, look like. nine years old, older, easily. Well, he's just had the groceries. Look at that ear. When I told you that they're 32 inches wide, do you believe me now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I mean, they are. Holy moly. <laughs> uh, I mean, are, this is such a surreal moment because it was your bucket list animal, right? Totally your bucket list animal. And uh, I said, hey, no worries. I'm going for the sheep and, and the caribou was kind of my hold up there. And now I see one of these things and it's like, gosh. But then I think to myself, do I want to go hunt one or... How do you even put two of these things in the house? I mean, really? That's amazing. I don't know. This That's is crazy, good. babe. You killed a giant. I did. I mean, literally a giant. Truly unbelievable. I don't even this know what to our, say. This is our day of hunting, and we had half a day tomorrow. Yeah, no doubt. We were. Another half a day is going to be spent packing the rest of them out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we packed this into right. uh, a short-term hunt. I can't believe that we came up with something like this. It just goes to show you, I'll be the first to tell you, when I got my caribou, I was at my wit's end. I was 18 days deep and ready to be like, man, that's just what I could do for this trip. We'll try it again another time. But got to go back to base camp, get freshened up, and caught a second wind and said, what the heck, let's try it. And so with only two days on the clock, and then you got 12-hour fly rules, so that cuts another half out. And then... We fly, we charter, uh, I guess not tomorrow, but the next day we charter to go home. So like yeah. Cody said, we'll be packing meat for the rest of this trip right to the time we get on a plane to go home. But leave it to Cody because it was definitely his idea after breakfast that we needed to we needed to get out of the area that we've been glassing in and just go see some different country. So we yeah. set out and sure enough, Cody beat us over the hill and came back a running saying All there is up. a big bull over here so there we, we still had a ways to trek to get over here yes we did well we thanks Cody <laughs> I can't thank you enough you're welcome <laughs> obviously it paid off this is insane oh my gosh that this this caliber of an animal to get is uh final day almost it is ridiculous it's been a heck of a hunt you guys yeah I think uh it's time to roll up the episodes the whole whole adventure packed 
run of episodes we're going to run on run up here uh with arctic red river outfitters i mean holy cow guys i'm i'm ready to <laughs> we don't know what we're ready uh, for yeah i'm ready to clear the brush get some pictures and put a bow on this because it's been a hell of a haul so good job guys all right thanks See you Cody. guys next week you betcha chris no problem Star Valley Outfitters, now owned and operated by Extreme Outer Limits, is one of Wyoming's premier hunting locations, offering opportunity on trophy elk, bear, deer, and moose. For more information, go to ExtremeOuterLimitsTV.com. Extreme Outer Limits is also brought to you by McMillan Stocks, Benchmark Barrels, Kestrel Ballistics Weather Meters, Lapua Brass, Passion for Precision, and Vitavuri Powder, the power of accuracy.